that flattened. Okay. Anybody uh, want record that I missed? Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, Chen, would you talk about uh, what you learned from watching the Ohio State film and, and what things you might need to change as a team? Um, I mean, I would say the last three games, um, we haven't put 40 minutes together. It's either, you know, in the Northwestern game, we were 20 minutes. We played hard for 20 minutes. Uh, Maryland game, we played hard for 20 minutes. And Ohio State, we played hard for 20 minutes. So, I mean, you know, the end of the story is, you know, we got to find a way to just put 40 minutes together, you know, and do what we do every day and every night. So, obviously, we can play for 20 minutes. and We'll be the best 20-minute team in the country. But um, we put two halves together, man, I, and I really mean it. Uh, no one will be able to beat us because the way we play, we play so hard night in, night out. And, you know, we just got to, you know, have an effort for 40 minutes. Is there anything you can do, you can change uh, among the guards in the wings or in the four spot to give, to take some pressure off Kofi when he gets a touch deep? Um, you know, as a, you know, as a four year starter, I, you know, I, I take a lot of counter. I'm going to take a, a lot of counter bidding on these past three games and put this, you know, those on me because, you know, I, um, I haven't done a good job, you know, with getting my team ready uh, in the first half. And, um, and I think that's, you know, I put a lot, responsibility on me because, you know, obviously, you know, I, I you know, I, I always, you know, come ready to play um, and bring that energy on the defensive end to get my guys going. But, you know, I can't win games by myself. So um, I got to, you know, just figure a way out uh, to be, have my guys ready to play for 40 minutes. All right. Thanks. Hey, Trent, I couldn't help but notice it looks like you kind of have some sort of pad or brace or something under your left shoulder. Is that kind of bothering you a little bit? Or are you at a point where you're completely healthy, I guess? Um, I would say I'm 90% I'm, I'm healthy. Um, obviously, there's still a little bone bruise on my shoulder, and that's why um, I wear it because, you know, I don't want to, you know, with how many screens, you know, I run around, uh, run through every night. Uh, I try to, you know, leave – Minimum uh, hits on, on on that that's on my left shoulder, so um, I can shoot comfortably. You know, I, I, it doesn't really affect me. It's just there, just for protection. But um, um, I'm I'm feeling great. You know, so it's not a problem. And then a quick follow up. I'm sure that you, as a leader on this team, spoke up yesterday in the meeting, not asking for what you said. Um, but was there kind of a different energy in practice the last couple of days after the last two losses and everything that? went on within the program the last couple of days? Um, for sure. I mean, um, you know, past two days, we've done, a, um, you know, an amazing job just, you know, just changing, you know, our mindset on what what, what we're about as a team. Um, and, you know, just one thing, and, that, and that's winning. You know, we got to figure, we, got, we had to figure out what's important to us, you know, and, and get, and as a team, you know, f you know, just be, come together, you know, and I think the most important thing is, you know, we've been, you know, um, you know, uh, I don't remember the word, but, you know, we've been, you know, not, you know, playing for each other. Um, you know, we've been playing for the wrong things, uh, I would say. But um, the past couple of days, you know, we've come together, you know, as a team, as a, a unit, and we've realized what's important really, you know, and that's winning. And, you know, we, we know what we're capable capable of at this level when we play for 40 minutes. So, and that's just what we got to do tomorrow night. Thanks, Trent. Appreciate it. Hey. Trent, do you feel like the last two games and, and the conversations that you guys have had with each other since Saturday, do you feel like that was kind of or could be a pivotal moment in this season as you guys get into the rest of Big Ten play? Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, I think we're in a great spot. You know, this happened last year, you know, uh, when we lost three, four in a row, um, you know, and we had to figure out, you know, what we wanted our season to be, uh, whether that's you know, continue to lose, you know, put put our head down or, you know, be the, the team we wanted to be, uh, you know, compete for, uh, you know, a Big Ten title. So I think uh, everyone's on the same, you know, same path right now. Um, we're, we're good. You know, we're not going to dwell on, you know, the losses. Did we slip up and, you know, lose those ones? Yes. But, um, you know, we, we got to have that next game mentality, you know, just come out ready to play every night and be better, you know, just be better for each other, be better for your, the next man up, you know, just help each other out and just play hard for 40 minutes. 
were you guys able to figure out maybe why it's been those 20 minute stretches where you've been able to really put it all together and you know what's been missing those other 20 minutes I and mean, any clarity on, on kind of what went wrong there um you know that's been a question coaches ask this team a lot and for, for some reason I, I i don't i don't know i don't have an answer for that because i mean it's just it's kind of a hard question you know uh, you ask the team why we're only playing for 20 minutes and you know you would ask yourself if you're playing hard or not you know but i think as a team um we just gotta you know we gotta be better we just gotta change different things you know um you know whether that's for preparation and practice um you know uh what we do before the game you know just being casual anything you know so i think um as a team and as a unit we just got to come out ready to play from jump ball you know instead you know playing from behind and, and seeing oh wow we're actually in the dog fight now we got to play you know we got to start from the jump we got to you know we got to put our foot down right when the ball you know is tipped so and that's that's what we learned these past couple of days and you know we just got to be better appreciate it trent thank you Trent, you mentioned that, you know, you're putting a lot of the onus on you, but when you look at the game chart last Saturday, you were the only kid in, in, in the plus player in the plus column. Are you saying that just because you're a senior um, and that's the right thing to say? Um, because it's not just Trent, it's a team game, you know? So why do you think the rest of the team aren't stepping up and doing what they need to do to get you guys over the hump? Um, I don't think I'm just saying that because I'm a senior. I just, I'm saying that because, you know, like you said, this is a team game, you know, whether you know, whether I get my assignment done or, or while I'm playing hard, it's not going to matter at the end of the game if, you know, we're in that 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 uh, losing column. Um, you know, I need those other four guys in the court with me, you know, to, to play 40 minutes. And, you know, that's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm, whatever it takes, you know, whether it's me, you know, helping going extra, you know, whether it's me, you know, um, not even, you know, co telling coach I, I got to stay in or whether it's just me, you know, talking to a guy, you know, boosting his confidence up or anything, you know. I just got to, you know, as a senior, you know, and me and Monte just got to be those guys, you know, to to help th these guys out and show them how hard it is, you know, and how hard you got to play, you know, to win games. So, like I said, um, it, like for me, it doesn't matter if I'm in the plus by myself, it, it, we lost. So um, I just got to be better and I got to help my other teammates, you know, get in the plus. So, and I, that's what I'm going to do. So, and is this a team? I'm, 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 all, I'm all for a team, you know, team, team for the team. So, and, that's that's just my mindset right now. Okay, a couple of years ago, I mean, you when we talked to you, you really really stressed the fact that Coach Underwood has changed your game. And how you really believed in the the staff and the program, and you know, not to point fingers, but like, do you think it's the players that stop performing? Do you think the coaches aren't giving you guys what you need? You know, what you guys are missing. I mean, what is missing in your opinion? Uh, can you repeat that question again? Basically, like, so, I mean, do you think if the coaches are giving you guys the information that you need, is it the players that's not performing or, or living up to their expectations themselves? Because you always talked about how much you trust the coaches and what they've done for you as a person and how, how, and how much knowledge they have. So do you think you guys just aren't listening or grasping what's going on or is it a combination of coaches missing things or what? Um. Uh, I would, I mean, me, I would never put any, you know, as a player, you know, um, I, the coaches, these coaches, this coaching staff do an unbelievable job, you know, putting everything in front of us uh, for, you know, preparation for the games, you know, our tasks and our game plan. You know, we, we, we start three days before, two, two, three days before, you know, you know, scouting. And we, we, we do a tremendous amount of hours, you know, of, of breakdowns on what they do. And, and it's if, if, you're, if you're actually a player, you would see, you know, everything, you know, Chan, you know, Coach O, Gent, and they say, if you go under a ball screen, the guy's, you know, he's shooting 98% of his his shots are threes, and, and you go under, he will make it. And, you know, those are mistakes are on the players, you know. I, and I put that on us, me and my other teammates, you know, because we're not following the scouting report or we're making mistakes. So, um, you know, the coaching staff do an unbelievable job of putting everything out in front of us. We just got to go out there and follow the game plan, and, it, it, and it's that simple. So, um, like you said, um, I think it's more of us. I mean, like I said, I mean, it's a simple question is the coaching staff put it all out there for us, game plan and that scouting reports and everything. And we just got to go out there and play hard with, you know, extra amount of effort and just play for 40 minutes. Thank you, Trent. Yep.
Trent, um, you guys had another game postponed, you know, at least coming up, you know, this Saturday with Michigan State. Um, just how do you guys maybe handle that where, I mean, there's really no telling kind of what the schedule is going to look like the rest of the season? Um, I mean, it's, you know, in my opinion, I think, you know, it's good and bad. It's, it's, the positive is, you know, just seeing our team, you know, how well we're handling COVID. You know, uh, we haven't had any, you know, problems with COVID of us having to cancel games, and it's just so our discipline. But um, you know, I, I mean, this is going to happen. You know, I mean, everyone knew this was going to happen throughout this throughout the year. Um, it's canceling game. It's just the new. This is the, the time we're in right now with COVID, and it's just we can't we can't stop it. So, um, obviously, it's frustrating, you know, to be able to lose game. Me being a senior. But uh, we just get, we can't dwell on that. We got to worry about you know the next game that that's not going to be postponed, and that's tomorrow night. And if we get to that that Saturday and the game is canceled, then so be it. We just got to continue to prepare for the next game up. But my mindset right now is you know Penn State tomorrow. I guess you mentioned you guys haven't had any you know, problems with COVID. What do you feel like your team does well just to maybe you know stay safe and healthy? Um. I think we got a lot of group of guys that's just really good into video games. <laughs> um, we, we, you know, we always enjoy that. Uh, it's funny, but um, it, it, I'm serious. You know, uh, we all, you know, go home. You know, people may say, what are these guys doing in isolation all the time? You know, we, we got video games. You know, we Madden all day, 2K, you know, Fortnite. I'm a big Fortnite player. So, you know, we, me and Jake, you know, we interact a lot, you know. And I think the biggest thing is we, we also get to be around each other a lot. You know, when we go home, you know, guys just don't want to, sleep in bed all day we all you know we hang out sometimes you know we hang in our little bubble no one else is allowed in but us so you know we we play a lot of different games and, and play and just, just hang around each other just get to know more about each other and just you know just just spending time with each other because i mean that's what it's all about right now and that's how we're going to grow each other's you know um you know brotherhood so thank you Hey, Trent, with Penn State coming up and you're kind of halfway through Big Ten, how important is it tomorrow to, like you said, play well for a full 40 minutes to kind of maybe turn things around? Um, it's important every night to play for, come out and play, you know, just give you your best for 40 minutes. Um, I think, you know, every these past few days, I think, you know, like I said before, we, you know, as a team, we we figured out what, what's really important, you know, and that's winning and, you know, we know what we have to do to, to, to do that. And we're, we're very, very capable of that. We just got to go out there on the floor and just play hard for 40 minutes. So, and just compete. So like you said, you know, this, this is, you know, um, tomorrow, it started yesterday, but you know, tomorrow starts, you know, a new quest for us, you know, a new journey, um, you know, just to go on a street, go on our, our, our run. And, you know, just, like I said, just continue to play for 40 minutes and just play hard and compete. Because I know when we do that, you know, no team can beat us. And then speaking of Fortnite, Adam said that he kind of carries and he's the best on the team. Is that is that claim true? That might be true. He's a really good builder. Um, <laughs> Jake, him and Jake are really good builders. I, mean, I can build, but I just I'm not a good pusher. So uh, they they kind of push me, and I just continue to just keep building, and I just die eventually. But uh, I would say the best Fortnite players it, it would be you know Jake and Adam because they they're really really competitive with, with building, and they're they're just good. I don't know why, but. I hate it. <laughs> All right, that'll wrap us up with Trent. Trent, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Trent. Thanks, Trent.